Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you a relatively new search tool from Google called the Data Set Search. Now to find this, you'll go to toolbox.google.com slash dataset search. It's a relatively new search tool, still in beta, and hopefully in the future, Google changes that URL to something a little shorter. Let's see how this works. Let's say I'm looking for data about earthquakes. Now Google is going to make some suggestions for me, or I can just hit enter and I'll find even more data sets related to earthquakes. Now, just for example, let's take the first result on the page and we'll see the sources of the data, who's provided the data set, the time period covered, in this case the area covered, and we can read a description about the data set. Now, if I want to go directly to that data set, let's click on the link provided here. And in this case, it took us to the NOAA page that hosts the data. And we'll see in this case, our data is actually a KML file. We often think of data, or when we hear data, we think of Excel spreadsheets or CSV files. But in this case, we have a Google Earth file that we can now download and look at the information within that file. I want to show you another example here as we're going through. Let's take a look at the Hawaii earthquake data. And again, we'll see a description. This is an archive of vector data sets collected in response to the Hawaii earthquake of 2010. And there's a link for more information. And we can click on that link. And when this link opens, we'll see a variety of zip files that contain those vector graphics. And of course, you'll often find plenty of places that provide CSV and Excel type of data sets. And in this case here, we'll see the source, who provided the data, and we also see the time period for the data collection, context, and content. If I go to that data set and let that open, we'll see again this source. We'll see that data set in a CSV and we have options up here to download that CSV as well. So that's a short overview of Google's new data set search. As always, for more videos like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.